and Local 24 Storm Team Meteorologist Chelsea Chandler with the Mid-South's most accurate forecast. This is Good Day Memphis on CW30. All right, can you believe it? May 1st already, a oh, Wednesday crazy. morning at 743. It's May Day. May no, Day, that's what? right. We got a lot of... May the 4th be with big, you. It's right around the yeah, corner, too. Yeah, around the corner. I think they go to Mayo. I know it's a big weekend here yeah. for and lots of reasons. Music fest. Yeah. Huh? What could go wrong? <laughs> well, <laughs> yeah, right. Margaritas and Cardi B. Right? Oh, that's going to be fun. And rain. Didn't even think about that. No, not for Cardi. Good. That's not great for Cardi. to hear. Yeah. It's, that's good if you're a Cardi fan. Not so much if you're a Dave Matthews fan. Let's talk about the radar. It is a little bit active. We've been seeing uh, some rain, very light right now, but you can see just outside the area there is a little bit heavier rain that's going to start making its way into our northern counties. Only three strikes of lightning, so this is mostly just rain. Light, uh, some pockets a little bit heavier, but you can see uh, that we do have it again in northeastern Arkansas, really mostly just out the side of the area, but this is about to move in. However, we do have a few scattered showers that are making their way through the Memphis metro and into DeSoto County. Also, a few showers uh, to the south, south of Holly Springs, uh, just to north of Oxford. So again, we're going to be seeing this. See a little rain, you get a break. You'll see a little more rain as well. It's just scattered activity. So we have a lot of moisture coming in from the Gulf. We do have this uh, centered uh, to our north. This cold front going to start moving in. As it does, we'll continue to see rain chances increasing. Your first really good chance of rain is Thursday as the cold front moves through. Unfortunately, once it gets here, it doesn't want to leave. I guess it just wants to see Cardi B too. So we're going to see this stalling out and you can see it's got a lot of uh, activity that's going to be bringing with it a, that low pressure system. So we're going to continue to see this being an issue as we head through the day. Again, we're going to see uh, rain very scattered throughout the afternoon. You see it uh, as we head into the evening commute as well. We may be dodging some rain, especially if you live along and north of I-40. As we get through the rest of the evening, it does look like now more rain expected as we head into the evening hours, pushing through into Thursday morning. Wow, this is a brand new update and that is bringing a whole lot more rain into the early morning hours tomorrow into that morning commute. So we'll be dealing with that with your next push into the afternoon and through the rest of the evening. So as you can see, a lot more rain expected tomorrow. Unfortunately, over the next 10 days, we're going to be above average on our rain uh, amounts as well as our temperatures. So as we head through the rest of the evening, Thursday looks OK into Friday morning. Not so bad, uh, but then as we head through the rest of Friday, we'll start to see more of that rain coming in into the evening. So so here's the deal with the severe weather threat. You can see where we're in green. That's a marginal risk. We do have damaging wind and heavy rain, our primary concern. It's low, though. It's a one out of five. But I want you to see how big the system is. The biggest concern, that enhanced risk in Texas. Uh, but this stretches all the way to Maryland. It's huge. Uh, the one thing I wanted you to see, though, is that this big threat in Texas doesn't completely impact us tomorrow as it continues to head east. We'll get clipped with our northern counties by that slight risk. But again, the main risk will stay to the north. Most of us will stay at a marginal risk. So we'll be watching for that as we head through the week. Right now, our temperature is pretty mild, 69 degrees. Most of us, you won't need a jacket. You just need the rain gear, and you're going to have to keep it with you because here's the rest of the week. Unfortunately, 40% today, 70% chance tomorrow, and Friday, 80% chance on Saturday. I do not think it's going to be a washout. Again, as you just saw, it's just going to be waves of rain. We are used to it. So just make sure that you are prepared. You have your rain gear. you got your rain boots as you head down for uh, either Memphis in May or even the uh, Memphis 901 FC game. The only thing is when we start to hear the lightning and see uh, uh, hear the thunder, see the lightning, uh, that's when we'll start to see some issues. So we'll continue to monitor it. Uh, it will look better on Sunday, though, so that's good news. We'll continue to keep an eye, though, and keep you up to date on Twitter at Local Memphis. And today is Weather Radio Wednesday. They are back, and every Wednesday in May, we'll be at a different Kroger. Today, you can pick up a weather radio at the Kroger that's located at 3095 Goodman Road East in South South Haven from 4 to 7. The local storm team will be there programming uh, existing. If you already have one, you can bring it. We can program it and you can also bring uh, you can buy a new one. Uh, so come see us. If you can't make it out to Goodman Road today, we'll be in Carryville, Cordova, Bartlett all throughout the month. So just make plans to get ready for severe weather season.